Adam Schaffrey and Flying Fox Bruce. Having some technical difficulties. If I touch the camera, it just turns right off. And then we lose the place. If you touch the wrong button on that phone while you're filming, you lose all progress on that video through YouTube's app, I guess. You can't touch the wrong button and it'll turn off. I just wanted to let you know that. So we might, this might be part two to a video that we just filmed. It was a good video. It was starting to be good. And I, I said, Chris, let me see that camera. Let me ruin myself temporarily. We'll try to show him the sun, blah, blah, blah. It was beautiful. We had a beautiful sunset going on. Look at the contrast of colors. Well, we're just about out of sunlight. So I'm just going to dance around and take you through the garden. I'm about to use the F word. Flying fox fruit, baby. Three in a row. I think I've just seen a flying squirrel. Is it too dark to show this? I should, no. I should have picked the fruit, but there's like a ton of these Barbados cherries. Should have been feeding them, but I'm going to see how many I can pick in my hands here. This is uh, one called uh, Echo Sweet. I like it a lot. And this is just a really productive tree. Maybe you get a good shot from over here because the lighting from the on the back side. I don't know. Hmm. It's like a Christmas tree, huh? Mm-hmm. Except it's itchy. This is going to make me itch because I'm getting all up in it while it's... All up in its attributes. There you go. Look at all that. Should I do the the mother load here? See if I can eat all this at once. This is definitely a greedy thing to do. High face? No, I don't think I'm gonna do that. But I have a hand, a mouthful. And of course, I taste the tuna. That was mixing for my chickens earlier. That's cool. Hey, can you see this tree right here, Chris? Yeah. Film this. I'm gonna talk about this really briefly. This tree right here, it kind of looks like a tamarind. I think it's in like the, the legume family. You know, related to like a mimosa and a tamarind additionally. It's called Parkia, P-A-R-K-I-A, biglobosa, like two globes, B-I-G-L-O-B-O-S-A, I think, something like that. It's got a red flower that's like a puff ball that hangs down. And it's got fruit like a pod, you know, like a bean pod. And you can eat the seed, like they crush up the seed or they toast it and they make these cakes out of it. It's got a lot of protein. You can eat the seed and you can eat the pulp around the seed. They said it can only take down to, what? 36 degrees in literature. It went down to 25 here and it made it. Look wow. It, Look at it, it died to the ground. It just came back like four now. Kind of hard to see. Half of these videos, I'm just pulling weeds. <sighs> when I should have done it earlier. But look at that. And it's a really beautiful tree. You know, I noticed it has this habit where in um, certain times of year, it'll hang down. It seems like the winter time, it hangs down. And then in the summertime, it stands back up. So it bows down in the winter time. It's just getting dark out here. We're walking around. Oh, look. I planted a pigeon pea right next to this grafted uh, Eugenia piriformis. The Eugenia piriformis doesn't like the flooding, so I'm trying to plant things around it to crowd it out, lift it up, you know what I mean? Give it some wicking. Woo, we're running out of steam, Chris, aren't we? Lightning, that's a nice lightning storm over here. still dark. Look at it close. It's flowering again. Getting a lot of crops this year on these. Got to probably come like this for the light. Anyway, flowering again. This is just in brutal conditions, man. Full sunlight. No, I never do anything for it. No fertilizer. Oh, we're cutting it short, I think. I'm sorry it wasn't longer. Mosquitoes. Elements. Show that sky one more time. Just turn around. Look at that beautiful sky. But yeah, maybe we'll see some lightning if you hold it that way. And then um, I'm just going to sit here and think about rare fruit and chickens and how not to eat them. Well, I guess you eat certain chickens, but don't eat the ones that you raise. The, the other people raise the ones that I eat. 
that I didn't get attached to. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for your help, Chris. You want to call it a night? I think so. I'm going to go inside and knit some quilts and... Uh,